Imagine if the care we needed wasn't there when we needed it most. Remind Senator Warner that government rate setting could mean closed hospitals. It's not the answer for surprise billing. Right now at 11 o'clock. Hurricane Doreen is now slamming the states. Hurricane Dorian's power has arrived in North Carolina. Fierce waves and tornadoes rake the Carolina coast, and it's now a rush to get ready from Hampton Roads to Ocean City. They're getting resources in position before the storm. The watches and warnings around the DMV, and I have the latest track coming in tonight. Also tonight, 7 is on your side. We can't just sit idly by and keep it as business as usual. New executive orders to keep a preventable disaster from happening again. Plus, calling it quits. Why one of hip-hop's biggest names says she's dropping the mic. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Tonight, the East Coast feeling the power of Hurricane Dorian. The storm lashing the Carolinas already causing widespread destruction. And as the threat moves closer to the DMV, we are starting to see the winds pick up out in the Ocean City area and evacuations now being ordered in Virginia Beach. Dorian is proving to be the storm that just won't stop. It is currently a Category 2 storm, and it now is tearing at the coast. That's right. It is all hands on deck. A very serious threat gets too close for comfort. It's why we have Team coverage tonight of this storm, its impact, and the preparations for what's to come. We're going to update you on the action happening in the Bahamas, Maryland, Virginia, and the Carolinas, but we're going to start things off with our chief meteorologist, Bill Kelly. He's got the track that just came in to let us know where Dorian is moving. Absolutely. Off to the northeast at 13 miles per hour. That hasn't changed. Good evening, everyone. This is the 11 o'clock update. It's one of the bigger ones that the uh, National Hurricane Center puts out. 100 mile per hour sustained wind, so down a little bit. Still a Category 2 storm with gusts of wind to 120 and it is currently 35 miles southeast of Wilmington, North Carolina and at its closest it came about 8 to 10 miles from the tip there of Smith Island and that's that little part right there and now moving off to the northeast continuing that moving that movement at 13 miles per hour so let me track it out for you the remainder of this evening it is going to continue that northerly progression and potentially make landfall up here around Moorhead City but by tomorrow Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, the winds are forecast to drop down to about 90 miles per hour as it rolls essentially right over the outer banks and then into Pamlico Bay. And then by tomorrow during the daytime, I expect this storm to really start picking up. It's moving at 13 miles per hour right now by tomorrow. That could easily get up to 17, maybe 20 miles per hour as it starts riding along these upper level winds. And notice by 8 p.m., 90 mile per hour winds, but it is well far away from our region. Our local impacts, we're talking about breezes kicking up here tomorrow, even around the D.C. metro. Impacts locally are going to be minor, but when we go a little bit closer to our coastal areas, even as near as Rehoboth Beach, Bethany Beach, Ocean City, that's where it's going to be uh, quite a bit more impactful. We'll have that in the specifics coming up in just a few minutes. We'll see you then, Bill. Thanks. Hurricane Dorian now is wreaking havoc on the Carolinas. In Charleston, South Carolina, roads became lakes. The storm has knocked out power for more than 200,000 residents. Charleston's airport is closed tonight, but it is set to reopen tomorrow. Dozens of shelters are open tonight to house more than 400,000 evacuees. And I want to show you something else. Take a look at the damage done in Myrtle Beach. High winds ripping part of the roof off of a hotel, flipping cars out on the road. But as the storm moves, evacuation orders are being lifted for three counties. And you know, dozens of tornadoes have been reported in the Carolinas. Yeah. North Carolina's governor warning residents now to buckle in for a long night there. Yeah, one of those reported tornadoes touching down near Wilmington. Morgan Norwood is in that city right now tonight to pick up our team coverage. Good evening. Heavy rain and wind as Dorian literally churns across the Carolina coastline, backing that heavy wind and rain. The most dangerous part of it all is going to be that storm surge. Officials now urging everyone to take shelter in place. Hurricane Dorian battering the Carolina coast throughout the day Thursday. It was a little scary in the middle of the night. It started to pick up and the shutters were banging. Charleston hit relatively hard. Streets there flooded. Stay off the streets. Uh, it's very dangerous. This tree crashing onto a bed of a seven-year-old boy. We were all sleeping downstairs um, as precaution for this reason. That